My son, Billy, had open heart surgery shortly after he was born. He needs two more surgeries. And that experience really opened my eyes to how difficult life can be for other parents in that situation and how important it is that families are covered like we are. Unfortunately, the plan Senator Cassidy and his colleague Lindsey Graham came up with does not sufficiently protect those parents or their children or anyone really, and so I called him out on that. He was going around telling people it passed the Jimmy Kimmel test, and it doesn't. Obviously, it's a personal thing for me. So this weekend, I was in three cities over the weekend and also at a charity event on Saturday night. I met so many people who came up to me, strangers. Almost every one of them was a stranger to, wanting to tell me that the Affordable Care Act that our president and half of our senators are so desperately trying to kill saved or drastically improved their lives, uh, members of their families' lives, and or their children's lives. They came up to me and they said, Mr. Fallon, thank you for speaking out. <laughs> and I just let it go because... So my wife and I were worried about health care. We didn't like what the Republicans were doing. So we decided to have a baby with congenital heart defects, OK? And then once we had that going for us, I went on TV, I spoke out, and we may have stopped Cassidy Graham. I still can't believe we pulled it off, but we did. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it is really unbelievable. You know, since I started speaking about this, I've been fact-checked by against Bill Cassidy by at least six different organizations. Every one of them came down on my side. Every major health organization in the United States is on my side. Every major charity that has to do with health and Medicare is on my side. Because the facts were on my side. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just, it's just a matter of what's true and what isn't true. So listen, health care is complicated. It's boring. I don't want to talk about it. The details are confusing. And that's what these guys are relying on. They're counting on you to be so overwhelmed with all the information, you just trust them to take care of you. But they're not taking care of you. They're taking care of the people who give them money, like insurance companies. And we're all just looking at our uh, Instagram accounts and liking things while they're voting on whether people can afford to keep their children alive or not. Most of the Congress people who vote on this bill probably won't even read it. And they want us to do the same thing. They want us to treat it like an iTunes service agreement. And this guy, Bill Cassidy, just lied right to my face. My area of expertise is eating pizza, and that's really about it. <laughs> but we can't let him do this to our children and our senior citizens and our veterans and or to any of us. And by the way, before you post a nasty Facebook message saying I'm politicizing my son's health problems, I want you to know I am politicizing my son's health problems because I have to.